Hey guys, Ash here from CurseForward.com and welcome to episode 22 of Android Tips on CurseForward TV. With the growth of Android, a lot of us these days have an Android tablet or an Android phone. One of the main restrictions of an Android device is the internal storage. Generally, we get anywhere between 16 to 64 gigs of internal storage that might, might or might not be expandable. So often we end up resorting to streaming stuff from your main, from our main PCs. Uh, maybe we are, we are in a different room in the house. Uh, we stream videos, at least me, I stream videos uh, onto my Android phone or tablet. So uh, something that bothered me a lot is say I'm in my room, I want something on my PC but my PC is in sleep. I'd either have to leave my PC awake or I'll have to come and manually wake it each time I wanted to access something, uh, stream something from my PC to my uh, Android phone. And as you guys can see, I've got about... Uh, 11.5 TB of uh, stuff on my PC so this kind of was a pain so in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can wake your PC and put it back to sleep uh, right from your Android device as long as you're connected onto the same Wi-Fi network so this is very simple and you don't need root access or anything like that and it works from almost any Android tablet or phone so guys the first thing you need to do is make sure that your PC actually supports being woken up all right so what you do is right click on uh, my computer so let me just zoom back, zoom out a little bit. So just right click on my computer, select manage. Again, I've got Windows 8 over here. It should work with any other Windows operating system the same way. So just go into uh, device manager. And right now select your network adapter. So right click properties. Over here you'll have something called power management select that and that will be something called wake on magic packet if you don't find it over here just uh, reboot your pc go into bios and you will find this option uh, wake on magic packet in the bios settings all right just make sure that it's checked and once that's done on your android phone uh, from the download section in the description uh, you, this will take you to pc remote advance this is a free app on the play store just get it download it install it onto your onto your android device so there i have it all right so guys what you do next is right click on my computer select properties and uh let me just zoom in a little bit all right so over here you can see that you have a 32 or a 64 bit operating system so depending on that click on link to in the download section in the description that will take you to this page and over here if you have a 64 bit operating system select this if you have 32 bits, select this. Just download it, unzip it, install it. So right now, on your Android device, once you load up the app, this is what it'll show. So over here, hit click me to auto discovery. And it will get discovered. If by any chance you get an error, it doesn't get discovered. All you need to do is on your PC, just um, go to run. Since this is Windows 8, I just hit run. Once you're in run, type in CMD. And over here, type in ipconfig slash all. So this will show you uh, what your IPv4 address is. So once you open up the app, you can enter the IPv4 address yourself, but most times, uh, the automatic detection will work so don't worry about that so guys now just go into system power control and over here uh, you can put it asleep by hitting the ZZZ over here you can shut it down you can hibernate it log off or reboot as far as waking the PC up again if it's on sleep there is one more step you need to do so what you do here is go into settings and you've got this thing called Mac address so over here, uh, remember in Windows, we just ran the IP config. So over there, you will also find something called uh, the MAC address. So where do we have it over here? Okay, uh, the physical address. Just type it onto your phone under MAC address and hit OK. So guys, right now, going into system power setting, power control, I'm going to hit sleep. And there you see, my, my PC's gone to sleep. 
So I'm just gonna give it a few seconds to turn off totally, as in going to sleep mode totally. And there you go. We can hear the silence. So now hitting wake on land. There you go, it's back up. And apart from that, with this app, you can also control some stuff on your PC, like presentation controls, audio video controls. You also get a touchpad, so that you see uh, that moves the mouse, the pointer. Uh, you get keyboard input. So, let me just click. There you go. Just to show you. There you go. So that's pretty much it. I just uh, this is something that you know has annoyed me for a long time because I cannot stream stuff onto my phone or a tablet all the time, and uh, I just came across this app and I thought. Well, I'll talk about it in this week's episode of Android Tips. So, in the last few weeks, we were looking into apps for extreme multitasking. So, if you guys haven't watched that video yet, uh, go ahead, click on the link that's annotated under the video or the one right below the like button in the description uh, and check that out. So, that's pretty much it for now. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And uh, once again, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys soon with more videos. Till then, this is Asher from CurseForward.com signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.